Warning, this show contains graphic images and content. Viewer discretion is advised. And welcome to the only genre, episode four, and our new podcasting room. Yeah, Everything. so we decided to try out a green screen room, and also we have a uh, thanks to our own. Uh, I didn't intro the the show very well. I didn't even say my name or his name. So I am Sean Vidmar, and I am Sean Vidmar. <laughs> That's Danny Meckler, and thanks to Danny Meckler, by the way. We have a new logo. Yes. It's a very lovely this at like 3 o'clock in the morning. And he texted me when I was sleeping. <laughs> yep. I was very excited. But moving forward. <laughs> pushing through. Like shit man. <sighs> Septic man. No, I'm going to keep calling it shit man. Before we start this episode, I'd actually like to say hello and congratulations to my friend Ray. And his movie, Buckle Up Punk. The movie is about a safety instructor, Ed, that collides with a gang of punks that kill a young boy in a hit and run. To silence Ed, they take him, his fiance, and a few unlucky bystanders hostage. The movie is a tale of street justice, justice that is inspired by an 80s vigilante classics. To learn more about the movie... Uh, to actually check out the trailer or to actually help with the um, post-production phase, please follow the links in the description and help support Buckle Up Punks or Buckle Up Punk. Wednesday, October 9th, American Horror Story Coven starts on FX. American Horror Story is created and produced by Ryan Murphy and Brad Falchuk. Yes, the same people that brought us Glee. Sad. This is actually season three of the series. And uh, this one is actually about witches and witchcraft in America. With season one being Murder House in 2011 and season two being Asylum in 2012 to 2013. Each season is actually a self-contained mini-series. They each have different characters, and they each have different settings, and then a beginning, middle, and an end. So, uh, Danny, have you seen a lot of American Horror Story? Neither. So far, all I've seen is one episode of season one. I think the first episode. We were over at uh, your old roommate's house. Oh, yeah. At, uh, so I show. guess that would be my, my place, too. Yeah, that would, I guess. <laughs> But uh, we were there, uh, we all watched it. I don't remember much of it. All I remember is that Missy was terrified. Mm. And, uh, oh, yeah, a little bit. So She doesn't really like stuff like that. She doesn't like horror, but that's fine. No, no uh, we actually, I have here in our, in our notes here that uh, we, <laughs> and I showed you a couple clips of the new one. Yeah. <clears throat> I've seen Interesting all. Interesting clips. Well, I've seen all of uh, season one. Uh-huh. And it's amazing. And like I was talking about, it, like, I never even thought about it, but they are, like, mini-series. Yeah. Um, but it's just uh, the, the opening clip for the new season is interesting. It, it's always got that unsettling feeling. Like, you don't exactly know what you're looking at. Yeah. But there's always, like, stuff that just kind of, you know, grabs you. Right. Because, it and, you know, there's, like, Those a couple sh- things. Short little YouTube clips are... Yeah. Uh, they they don't seem like they're actually clips for the show specifically about this season. It's just like this is something kind of creepy and weird. And here's well, okay, these are these are the ones that we actually saw. We saw the the opening clip. So the actually like um, it's more of um, the title the title sequence. sequence in the opening. We have there's one that's a it was just called Voodoo. I showed him the voodoo doll like picture. It's an animated picture. It yeah. was actually called Pin. That Pin one was cool. That, that one was really neat. That was actually the first one that I ever 
Avengers. So yeah, I like that one the best out of all. That one was actually my favorite. Um, actually, no, because I like the next one. I like the Witch Walk one. The Witch Walk clip, very interesting. It, it was. It, it's not exactly like creepy as hell. It's no, just, this was my favorite. It's one. just different. Yeah, I, I just thought it was cool that they had like all these kind of mildly sexy but still creepy. Yeah, you didn't really see any of their faces. If you no, know, they all had the, those big hats that yeah. were covering their faces. And since it, they're it's all also, identical too. It's also based out of uh, New Orleans, and they had that interesting animal song. The animals, uh, the animals. And a band from '64 did a song called "House of the Rising Sun." Yeah, which and we both cool ass song. That, yeah, it's actually a really, really good song, and yeah, they did it in it a very unique way. Yeah, it's a song that everyone's heard before, just by listening to the radio with their parents. But uh, yeah, it's one that that doesn't like reach out and grab you, like, oh, well, that's the animals. Oh, I actually forgot to mention the Levine clip. Laveau? Yeah, that one. Oh, it's a U. Wow. What I was the Laveau clip? I don't remember. That's that one. the one where the female's kind of sitting in a like a rocking chair or something. Uh-huh. He, she's all hazy until like it kind of pan like it uh, zooms out and she's got like this snake. That's right. Yeah. That one was unique. Basically, the voodoo one, the voodoo clip. The yeah. voodoo clip was the worst one. That one. And um, the one we just mentioned, those ones, it didn't say anything. Like, yeah. there was no explanation. But then again, Hardly mentioned one of anything our, about our favorite ones, the Witch Walk, that one itself didn't really say too much about it. But there, there's got to be some kind of serpentine, snake-like quality to this season because the, I, the first picture that anyone ever saw was those three girls, like, face-to-face right there with the snake weaving in and it's, out of their mouths. Yeah, it's very strange. Which but, looked really goofy at first but, glance. But Pin, that, that art, the pin one that, was good. that animated picture was actually oh, my favorite. That was the first thing I ever saw, like I said. It was like a Clive Barker's pinhead. Oh, oh that's what? Three out of four freaking episodes yeah. we mentioned Barker. Mm-hmm. No, no septic man. <laughs> <laughs> no shit man today. Nope. That's and uh, Mr. Bakula is, is we're not talking Bacula. about him. <laughs> so starting October thirteenth on AMC, The Walking Dead is returning for season four. The television show is based on the comics by Robert Kirkman, Tony Moore, and Charlie Adler. In the past we watched as a cop woke up from a coma to a new zombie infested world, reunite with his wife and son only to later kill his best friend, bear his wife, and fight the governor. Not to mention what happened to everybody else on the series along the way. With 16 episodes in season 4, I wonder what's going to happen to all of our favorite and least favorite characters. I have not seen all of season 3 yet. I haven't seen any of season 3 yet. I stopped season 2 right after uh, they open up the barn doors and then they shoot all the zombies then. Because I thought that was the end of the season, which I found out later it wasn't the end. <laughs> Just in my head, it was, well, that's the finale, and the, move on. I think the, they, they might have had a, a break in, in, like, a split of the series then. Oh, I think this is, I think this is actually one that has done that in the past. Yeah. Where basically you go on three months, yeah. you know, without seeing anything, and then you watch it for, you know, a couple months, and then you go another couple mm-hmm. months, you know. It's one of those which I actually personally love uh, when so the series does that. Just a big continuation, weaving yeah. in and out of months. Yeah, that was the last time I saw it, and I really didn't like any of the farm stuff. Oh, you didn't? The farm stuff was just so boring. Oh. Uh, I loved the first season, and then they got to the farm, I'm like, can you please leave now? <laughs> just keep <laughs> going. This isn't interesting at all, so. Oh, because you, you were thinking more of, like, because they, they basically did, yeah, yeah. they just stayed on the Yeah, the and it farm. was, I mean, I know the show was supposed to be about, like, the personal drama between the characters yeah. themselves, not actually, like, a zombie um, narrative, but still, it was just, it got too daytime drama for me, so I just, I was getting kind of tired of it. I think that's why I haven't started up again, but... Um, I'm, I'm sorry, like... I know they have, we, they've gotten off the farm, so I probably we, will start it up. We don't have... A table, so no. I don't know what to do with my hands. Yeah, I've been crossing my hands. <laughs> like, Wait, I'm crossing my arms. Not to mention what else happened to everybody. Ah.
people get songs stuck in their head all the time, right? So you'll just have this, this piece of, this phrase or this word that's stuck in your head all day. And for the longest time, for whatever reason, I couldn't get it out of my head. I had Zachary Quinto stuck in my head. I just had that the, the name Zachary Quinto. <laughs> and it was just repeated over and over in my head for no reason. And he's going to be in the new season of American Horror Story. Oh, really? Yeah, so I saw his name along with all the others on the, the opening. And I'm like, God damn it, now I'm going to get Zachary Quinto stuck in my head again. <laughs>